All right. Well, this is the first time I did a tutorial video on tech again. Well, this is a fix for stuttering in Dark Souls 3 and Elder Ring, but maybe it will work on other games too. So, yeah, let's get into the first one though. Uh, the first one is uh, we need to disable uh, device association services. Um, I'm not sure wh what it does, but well, it was an old fix though, so it works for me. Kind of. So just type in uh, services in this search bar and then just go down a bit. And then there is the first association service. Well, just right click on properties and then just if this uh, were uh, in a, enable or automatic or whatever, just disable. If this thing is service status is running, then just press stop, then apply, then OK. Something like that, though. Alright, uh, the next fix is Alright, uh, the next fix is just disabling the USB uh I don't know it's like the USB thingy thingy but well this is how you do it at least uh go to power plan then edit power plan then change advanced power settings then go to USB and then USB selective suspend setting. Then the, let's just disable it for all the uh, what is it called? This thing, um, well, yeah, it's just a fucking other option. So I yeah, just disable all of them on those in this you know, options. Uh, mine is all disabled, so yeah just hit apply and uh, you know hit apply and okay all right this is the last fix uh we're going to disable a microsoft device driver so yeah uh, also a warning so if you have a 32 bit uh device uh, i think you better off not disabling it though but if you don't have a 32 bit uh, device then uh, it's all right to de disable it so yeah so just go here and then just device manager or just if, if not, it's not there just fucking, de uh, fucking type it uh, just device manager boom then uh, go to view and uh, and then show hidden device that's it yes then go to software device then this one this one has been uh, making games stuttering a lot uh, somehow so you just go to properties to to driver then just oh there's probably there's a disable button around here somewhere or right click something you know just disable it so yeah and then just restart your PC after all the steps, all the fixes. Well, that's that. See ya.